Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. It is still mm -hmm. East Splash, and you checked out Red Handed by the. Let's say Red Handed. Yeah. Red Handed by mm. the DMW guys. Giving Without Davido and Chioma. Giving us hits back to back. Without Davido, with Why do you have to bring Chioma into this? Is, though? is Chioma a Davido? It's DMW. Wow. Guys, it is time for entertainment news. <laughs> First up, Wizkid plans to start streaming platform Nigerian artist. Wizkid is planning to expand his Starboy brand as he's working towards starting up a streaming platform in, co in collaboration with an African bank. Now, he made this clear during an interview with the Capital Extra in the UK where he was talking about how Afrobeats inspired him to invest in the business. He said, and I quote, I have always thought about ways to expand and turn it into a real business. My team and I have been working so hard. I have the streaming app that I'm about to launch right now. We've been working on that for a while in collaboration with a big bank. There, these, uh, those are my new partners. He further said that they intend to, through those platform, the streaming platform, help people market their music, put out their music, and actually get revenue for their music right into their pocket. He also talked about a talent show in the works too. He said, um, we have a talent hunt that we're going to do back home doing a 20 country tour. Now we will go around, you know, to pick some best talents from every African country, help them, you know, celebrate and collaborate with them and we see what we can do for the culture. There was that a lot of so you know, cool. you know, you know in this conversation <laughs> though. <laughs> I mean, well, that is really cool. Um, I, I've always said it, come for me, but don't come for me. I've always <laughs> said it that Whiskey, I feel that Whiskey is one of those artists that, I help you to rise, but not like David Doe, that kind yeah, of yeah. thing. You, they will still want it. to thrive on it. But now that he's trying to do something like this, I think that's a good move. It's time for him to start um, paying, back. Uh, you know, giving back to the society because I don't think Mr. Izzy is as big as Whiskey, but he's doing amazing. Yes, and yes. so if, if, if Whiskey is going to work on this, really and truly, because there's sometimes they say these things at interviews and nothing ever happens. So we hope that he's actually yeah. working on this and we're looking forward to that. And that's a great move, by yeah, that's, the way. That, that, that's what I want to say. Shout, shout out to the bank that we actually pushed Whiskey to do this. I because Whiskey has promised things. Mm. Like my album will drop today, two singles this tomorrow. This is March, I'll be back you know, in March. Next year. Oh, but like, can we now, talk about now the that there's that a bank involved? That. Yes, mm. now that there's a bank involved, I'm sure all of these promises will come true. Yeah. And of course, we can't wait to see what um, the yeah, streaming platform would do. With, yeah. I mean, I let's, feel like... Let's, let's make artists make money, actually, from yeah. views, from streaming, streaming their songs, and of course, YouTube views. Definitely. I feel like, um, you know, as you were talking about, different artists with different personalities. Someone mm. like Whiskey, he, you know, seems to me like the kind of person that works in silence, yes. you know, because he's coming out with all of this. This is not something you just think of yesterday and talk about tomorrow. Mm. He's saying that he's having a streaming app, which is actually a very big thing to do, mm. and having a 20 country tour around Africa, helping, you know, each of an artist from each African country. I think that's a very huge deal for him to do, and I'm very happy that he's finding a way, as you said, to give back to society and yeah. to help upcoming artists like him as well to push through the industry, because we all need that platform. And like you said Mr. Easy is one person that has proven how effective it is, it is yeah. you know, with the likes of Joe Boy and the rest. I'm, yeah. I'm really excited about that and I really hope that it comes to pass. Amen. <laughs> this Hallelujah. year soon. That's not a prayer. <laughs> Honestly. Because it's whiskey. And we pray that this um, um, tour happens soon, maybe beginning of 2020 or this year because, you know, when, when whiskey's March is in September. <laughs> You know, it just, it, it just got me thinking it could be 2025. Wow. So let's just hope it happens soon. Okay. <laughs> now, wow. <laughs> yes, and, and it's crazy. We, we've heard artists promise things. Honestly. Like, I cannot... More hits, there was supposed to be a concert. <laughs> By the Bro, more hits, all of them. Happened? What happened? Like, me, I was you waiting, You guys like, wow. are so pessimistic. Okay. No, it's Take because, his word for it's because, it. It's because they say it. And, and it doesn't happen. Happens. Okay, let's keep our fingers crossed that it will happen then. Right, moving on to our next story. I have body fat and what about it? Eniola hmm. Bad Moss. Yes, talking about Eniola Bad Moss, Hollywood actress Eniola Bad Moss has come out to state that she doesn't get bored when people say she's fat simply because they're only making the statement of fact. She took to her Instagram page to share a post letting everyone know that she's positive about her body and won't let anyone shame her. She wrote, fat is not an insult. Hmm. hmm. What do you guys think about any other bad most post, though? Um, she said something that I found interesting. She said, it's not an insult. It's a statement of fact. I know. I am plus-sized already. Is so there. if you say, I'm fat, it's just like me saying, Amanda, you're light-skinned. Obviously, you're light-skinned. I'm not, do you understand? I don't think it's an insult. So if that's the angle she's coming from, 
She's fat. She has blood in her body and a lot of. To be of honest, meat. I feel like she has um, she has achieved a certain level of confidence in herself. In herself, yeah, and because that's the really truth good. of the matter is, yes, you know, you might say that fat is not an insult. It's a statement. It's an, you can even say it is an adjective. You know, light skin, fat, big, whatever it is. But you can also take away the fact that some people feel very sensitive towards words like this because there are aspects in their lives that they feel are flaws and they're trying to work on it. Okay. Now, rubbing it in their faces doesn't make them feel comfortable which is why it's called body shaming. You can mm. see a slim person and say, oh my gosh, you're slim, and the person takes offense at it because the person is not comfortable at that mm. point in yeah. time being slim. And you can see another person who is slim and is like, slim and rocking wow, it, girl. Sure? Oh, wow. Another person is like, like, thick like, and like. rocking it, girl. Another person is like, oh my God, I have fat, too much fat all over the place. So yes, to her, she is just coming out to state that this is well, her own right, stance mm -hmm. and she doesn't see it as an insult, which I think is fantastic. Very, when yeah, you very learn much. to brush off negative comments mm -hmm. and just embrace yourself. Very I love yeah. it. Because um, most of the time, whenever um, Eniola Badmos is in news for something, people are always bashing her with her, you know, with her weight and saying, no, oh, you're fat, you're fat. And she's like, in 2019, <laughs> you're still, you still calling me fat and you think that it's going to get to me. It's not, it's not going to happen. You're only just stating the obvious and as you said, it's actually really good. I feel like everyone should probably just get there. I mean, Embrace I, I talked flaws. about body enhancement and all those things yesterday and I'm like, look, it comes from insecurity. Issue. That's, the, that's the fundamental problem. Yes. So if you know that you feel a certain way, it, it's just like I have malaria, but the symptom is headache and then I decide to get headache drugs and not treat the malaria. Yeah, That's literally what you're doing if you're going to um, do lipo and all those stuff. I'm not even going to go into that, but just treat the state of mind. Okay, I'm fat. All right, good. Anyone wants to say whatever, I keep their being business. that way, do I want to you work know. on it? It's now left to, to you. you. And, and don't let people just, because people yeah. will always speak on you when they know your weak point. You know, that so. is true. All right, moving to the foreign scene, DMX checks back into rehab. American rapper DMX is reportedly back in rehab as he has canceled shows due to his, uh, his addiction struggles. Now, his team shared in an Instagram post, in his ongoing commitment to putting family and sobriety first, DMX has checked himself into a rehab facility. Now, he apologizes for his canceled shows and thanks his fans for their continued support. DMX, who has 15 kids, <laughs> has had a long, difficult struggle with addiction he has been jailed numerous times in the past over drug-related offenses and has spent time throughout the years in rehab. <sighs> Uh, mixed feelings about this one. You know, I'm always very excited when I see somebody who has a substance abuse problem checking themselves Animals. back into rehab, mm. you know. But we're going to talk more about this after this break. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 